Thank you for staying with us. Well, Golden Corral is the nation's largest grill buffet restaurant chain. And the restaurant recently announced the opening of New York City's first ever location right here in the borough of the Bronx. The new location will result in as many as 150 new jobs for the community once indoor COVID-19 restrictions have been lifted. And then in line with COVID-19 guidelines, the question is, what initiatives are presently in place to ensure a safe and enjoyable dining experience for all? Well, joining us now to share a little bit more is franch franchisee and general manager, Naropa Harpool, as well as the human resource manager at Golden Corral, Margarita Rubio. And ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us, Darren. Oh, I'm glad to have you. And most of all, welcome to the Borough of the Bronx. Thank you thank so you. much. And so give us this because, as we said, you know, Golden Corral coming to New York City, out of all the five boroughs, the Bronx gets the nod. Talk to us about the Bronx and why our borough? Why not the Bronx? Here you go. Uh, I believe it. <laughs> the Bronx is often the forgotten borough, in my opinion. And it's a privilege to be the first in New York City, and not only the first in New York City, the first in the Bronx. So we, our community has welcomed us very graciously, and we're very excited to be here. And so talk to us about coming in because right now, you know, technically there can be no in-person seating due to COVID-19, but you guys are making adjustments. You guys are open. And so give us a little bit about what's going on right now in the wake of COVID-19. So we really wanted to give the community something to look forward to. Golden Corral has been a long time coming to the Bronx and we are doing the best we can given the circumstances. So we've taken our entire dining room and put it outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, compared to other restaurants in the area, we actually have a very large parking lot. Um, our parking lot as it is um, holds about 38 cars. In addition to that, our neighbor, VIM, has also graciously given us their parking lot and that gives us an additional 50 spots. Mm -hmm. So we've taken half our parking lot and transformed it into an outdoor dining space with heat. And so uh, talk to me a little bit, Margarita, about just employees, right? Because we talked about once things begin to, you know, uh, get better, you'll see more and more employees. But this is also not just about being able to eat. It's also helping people to eat by giving them an opportunity for employment. Right. So um, we were definitely very excited to hold our first open house um, recruitment. And it was very successful. We had a lot of candidates. And... Uh, we screened each individually to fit um, the needs of the business. And then we spoke to them about the guidance that we would have to have in place due to COVID, which would be their screening, their daily screening, um, their de daily tasks that would involve the cleanliness of the outside lot. Um, uh, requirements to wear face masks yeah. and gloves which throughout their be, entire shift. Which would be also enhanced by security outdoor for our uh, customers coming in. And as well as the staff. Yeah. And the robot share a little bit because I know you guys were trying to come before and uh, you know there's some things that took place to cause a delay and then all of a sudden now you get right to the place where you're just about to open the doors and then we've got COVID coming. So our Golden Crow location, our the Bronx Golden Crow location, looked very different from any other Golden Crow in the country. We are one of the first gateway locations, which means it's upgraded features, it's the latest and greatest design Golden Crow has to offer which is part of the reason for the delay. So we stopped construction midway and we felt the Bronx deserves the very latest and greatest Golden Corral has to offer and we upgraded everything. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, that's awesome. And so as we're talking about, you know, this restaurant coming right here to the borough of the Bronx, talk to us about what you've heard. I mean, you've had an opportunity to interact with the community. The doors are open right now. What's the feeling, what's the sentiment right now? Uh, so right now, people are excited to get out of the house. <laughs> they, they're they very grateful for our large outdoor dining space. All of our tables are at least six feet apart for New York State, New York City guidelines. We have sanitizer stations throughout. We have an outdoor hand washing station that's available for both the public and for our employees. Um, we have masks readily available for both employees and for guests. And we've taken every single precaution that we can to ensure the safety of both of employees and for our customers. And not just that, but like as Narupa mentioned, people want to get outside. So if they see the lights, the tent, the, the music, music, the drink, <laughs> everybody wants to come. And it's also like a learning step as we go since, you know, like COVID happened. We're learning as things like open up and stuff like that. So now it is getting a little chilly, but we 
move right on to getting right. heaters. Yes. So, you right. know, it's kind of yeah. we're right. adapting to our situation. And we're having a lot of fun doing yeah. that. <laughs> we're meeting our community. We're getting to know them. We're getting to know people by names, meeting their families. And um, it's just, it's a lot of fun for both the, the customers and for us. We're having yeah. time. Because it is a community, right? I mean, technically, you know, you're not just serving people in the, in there just coming in and eating. It's really about community. This is the place that's right in the middle of, of the community. You'll, you'll get a chance to meet residents, visitors. And so talk to us about the energy that you're feeling. I mean, obviously it's a little cold this week, but uh, there's still some good warm energy. We, we see parties up to 10 for New York State, New York City guidelines. And, mm -hmm. you know, Due to limited space at, at other dining establishments, we're seeing a lot of people coming in to, to have celebrations, to celebrate their birthdays, to celebrate milestones in their lives that they weren't able to do for the past few months. So we're very honored to be able to, uh, to host these customers and give them the opportunity to celebrate. And because it's such a knit community, now we're already getting our customers coming back and like saying our names, coming just to say hello by the gate. So it's actually a really nice experience. We really want to become the community store for the Bronx. Yeah. Well, we, ho we hope that you do. And I want to talk to you about, you know, because unemployment is huge. It's, it's huge in New York State. It's huge across the country. Uh, 22 million uh, Americans filing for unemployment, we've heard. Uh, those numbers continue to go up. Uh, but give us a little bit about just the fact of the opportunity for employment, right? Because there's some great opportunities for employment for people uh, who may be in the borough and across the city. Right, so that was one of the main reasons why we wanted to open so quickly, is because we wanted to go and offer employment to the community. Um, so far, we have about 60 people that we've hired. Once we open up the indoor dining space, we'll hire up to 150 people, maybe exceeding, depending how business goes. And we train fully to every position. So. No experience, no problem. As long as the attitude is right and the willingness to learn is there, we'll, we'll teach. Mm -hmm. So um, in six months, we also plan to become a management training site. So everyone has the opportunity to grow and, and excel here. And when you talk about a management training site, what exactly does that mean as a, you know, for somebody who doesn't know? Uh, to become a Golden Corral manager. Mm -hmm. So we, we feel very strongly to hire and promote from within. So every candidate that's with us right now is a potential manager for a future location. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And Margarita, that's a great experience to have. I mean, to go from being an employee to a manager and, you know, whoever knows, you may own your own franchise too, right? No exactly. And you're seeing already um, how people that started, how they're doing so far, their energy, their eagerness to learn, to be here, to want to be here. Like there's some employees that will come on their days off just because they, you know, they want to taste our food, of course. And they like the family atmosphere yeah, that like we it developed. Is, and that's what we're trying to build, a family atmosphere that are happy to be here. We're very proud of our, um, the employees that we've hired so far. They've excelled, they've exceeded expectations, and we feel like we're developing a very strong foundation for when we start indoor dining. Mm. And, uh, you know, I know everybody's waiting for that whole indoor dining thing and, and, and for things to really lighten up. But I know you're, you know, you're taking all the necessary precautions and things of that nature. Uh, give us a little bit about what the community has. There been a little bit of trepidation uh, coming in because we understood, you know, when the governor made his, his announcement that, you know, buffets were going to be like the last place uh, to get the go ahead. But now you've got the go ahead. Talk about the community. A, a little trepidation coming through the doors. So currently we're not operating as a buffet. We have a menu, a fixed menu of Golden Corral favorite items to introduce the community to our offerings. Uh, once we start indoor dining, we will resume as a buffet. But um, COVID-19 is not a foodborne illness. The risk of getting COVID-19 is the same as you going to the bank or the grocery store. It's primarily through airborne um, transmission and touch, touch uh, cont contamination. So uh, we use a sanitizer um, that kills COVID-19 within 45 seconds. Um, our filters in the restaurant are the best at the top of the line. And we've taken every single precaution that we can to ensure the safety of both our employees and our guests. Yeah. So talk to us about what's coming up in the future. The future, we hope to open up throughout New York City. COVID-19, um, it did slow us down a bit, but we're, we're ready to go. We're... We're learning our community. We're ready to go and meet other people throughout the boroughs. And we're, we're looking to be the community, community restaurant throughout New York City.
Now, you're the former owner of the Bronx Grill. Talk to me a little bit about how you're utilizing that experience at this new location. We are utilizing both our, our previous employees mm -hmm. and we've brought back our uh, previous customer base who are very grateful for us to reopen and to meet us again. And we're just, you know, we've, we've, we've just rolled with it. Mm -hmm. um, we've been in the community since 1974 at this location. So we knew Golden Crowd would be the ideal fit of what the community actually needed um, in terms of value and quality of food. Oh, that's great. And so we know the community can come on out and take part. And once again, give them the, give them the information. They can do, uh, they can take home. I mean, they got the menu. They can take the takeout on the takeout menu. So we're, we're available for outdoor dining. We seat up to 190 guests, all safely, all within COVID-19 compliance. We also have takeout available. In the next few weeks, we'll be opening it for Saturday and Sunday brunch and delivery through the main delivery apps. All righty. And Margarita, for people who want to take part in possibly employment, I wanted to give you a shout out to uh, tell people what they can do and how they can get connected if they're looking for a job. Um, so as of now, um, there's an our, our, um, online portal that people can just apply uh, through there. Or if they're just walking by, we have um, applications with our host. So they could do both. Uh, so our online portal is goldencrowl.com. Yes. Ah, all right, all right. Well, wow, thank you both for coming and sharing with us. Welcome to the Borough of the Bronx. I know you're no stranger, but welcome. And we're looking forward for a great opportunity for uh, Golden Corral to really feed and also to, you know, generate some revenue and also some opportunity for many Bronx residents to be able to have employment and then also at the same time have some good food. Yeah, yeah. looking forward to seeing you here. Uh, I'm coming. Once, <laughs> once things open up. <laughs> once things get better, I'm coming. Thanks, Aaron. Bye. Bye. All righty. You guys take care. Listen, we got more show. Please don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Oprah will continue right after this.